Windows 11 Pro 23H2 version. Yep. Today I'm going to install Windows 11 23H2 version on this unsupported laptop, Lenovo L430. First of all, I want to mention that this is Windows 11 Insider Preview ISO file and it's not easy to download. But if you wish, you can give it a try. I want to note, this video is not a tutorial. Understood, not a tutorial, but just testing Windows 11 23H2 function, like microphone, camera, touchpad, keyboard, speakers, etc. For some people, it may seem too simple and unnecessary. But from my own experience, I can say that many laptops behave incorrectly after installing Windows 11, especially if they do not officially support it. At the end of the video, I will try to get the latest Windows updates, or at least I will try to do this. I also want to check if we still are able to install the latest Windows version on unsupported laptop using Rufus, because 23H2 version is not the same as 22H2 version. I know how it sounds. They look same, they have similar features, but they are completely different versions. I hope this video will be interesting for my viewers and especially for subscribers, because many people subscribe to my channel after I showed how to install Windows 11 on unsupported PC. So let's get started. So fellas, we are in the Windows. First of all, I need to create a bootable USB drive with Windows 11 23H2 version. And as you can see, I have an ISO file, Windows 11 Insider Preview Client X64. So I will show you quickly how I got this ISO file. First of all, you need to open browser, then type next. Windows Insider Program, press enter. Then you need to click on this website, microsoft.com, click on it. On this page, you need to find preview windows, how to preview windows, preview windows now. I will select this option, scroll down a little bit. Here you may see begin to preview windows and you need to click on windows insider preview ISO. As I previously said, this video is not a tutorial and there is a common reason for this. First of all, it's not easy to download an ISO file. Believe me or not, but now there is some problem and issues with downloading ISO file. Some tech bloggers saying that it's not necessary to sign in Microsoft account and you can download an ISO file without any problem. I will show you what message you will see if you will not sign in Microsoft account. Wait a minute. To access this page, you need to be a member of Windows Insider program. It's necessary to sign in in Microsoft account. So this is the first issue, but that's not all. Actually, even after you sign into the Microsoft account, you will scroll down a little bit. Then you will see this option, select addition. You can click on it. And in our case, we need to select Windows 11 Insider Preview Canary Channel. This is the latest version. Click confirm. Click here and select the language that will suit you the best. Confirm. Error. First time I was lucky to download ISO file without any problem, but then it was a little complicated. As you can see, now I can download this ISO file, but if you wish, you can give it a try and probably you will succeed. So let's get back to the main idea of the video. Now we need to create a bootable USB drive. We need to download Rufus. So type next. Rufus, download. Now we need to go to the Rufus official website and I will click on download. In my case, I will choose the latest portable version 4.1. That's mean it will run this portable application. I successfully downloaded Rufus. I will show you this application, show in folder. Now I can close this window. Very importantly, now you need to insert your USB stick into the laptop. USB drive need to have at least 8 GB of free space. My USB drive has 32 GB, so it will be more than enough. After you install flash drive into the laptop or computer, you need to run the Rufus. Do you want to allow Rufus to check for application updates online? I will select no. 
In this window, you need to select your USB drive. And as you can see, this is my USB stick. It has 32 gigabyte of space. As you can see, USB stick has a D letter. If you're not sure, you can click on this PC and check the letter of your USB drive. In my case, it's D letter. Now you can close this window. Next step that we need to do is to be sure that here we select disk or ISO image, then click select, find and choose your ISO file. In my case, I need to go to the desktop. And as you can see, this is my ISO file, Windows 11 Insider Preview. Then click open. If you want to install Windows 11 on HDD or SSD drive as main operating system, you need to select standard Windows installation. Click here. Then you need to choose how it will boot in BIOS, in UEFI or legacy. As you can see, we have UEFI by default, and actually we cannot change this option here. But if you have quite old computer, for the example, since 2010, you need to select legacy because those type of laptops only support legacy. If your machine boots in legacy, you just need to click here, select MBR, and that's all. But in my case, I will leave UEFI. After that, click start. I want to remind you that all information will be deleted from your USB stick. So if you have some important files, be sure to save them before doing this. I want to know that previously I showed how to install Windows 11 on unsupported laptop and I was able to work with 22H2 version, but surprisingly, even in 23H2 version, we have the same option as in older version. For the example, we can remove Windows 11 system requirements. Also, if you wish, you can check all of this option. For the example, we can create a local account, disable data collection because Microsoft collecting too much data. Honestly, if you want to hear my opinion, I recommend to check all of these options and click OK. One more time, warning you that all information will be deleted from your USB stick. Click OK and wait until Windows 11 23H2 version will be installed on your USB drive. Okay, we successfully created a bootable USB drive, so now we can close this window. Now it is importantly to safely remove flash drive. For this you need to click here, find this USB icon, click on it and select your USB drive. After this message you can safely remove flash drive. I will shut down the power and we will proceed to the next stage. So first of all, we need to insert this USB stick into the laptop, enter the BIOS and change priorities. That's how I always show you to do. But today I'm going to show you the easiest way we will enter boot menu using F12 key. Everything is very simple. Insert your USB stick into the laptop. Good. You need to turn on your laptop or PC. Then you need to press F12 key. Everything is very simple. In this window, you just need to find your USB drive. As you can see, this is my HDD drive and this is my USB stick, SanDisk 3.2. Now you need to press enter. Now we will be able to install it on HDD drive. Okie dokie, we are in the installation windows. Click next, install now. Please pay attention. Here you can enter your license key, but Actually, we're using a preview version, so I will select I don't have a product key. It's not necessary to enter a license key. I will click here. Then we need to select Windows Edition. I will select Windows 11 Pro. Click Next one more time. Check this option. Click here. Now I have two options, install Windows and keep file setting in application. And I'm going to do a clean install, so I will select the second option. Install Windows only, advanced. You need to delete all partition. Of course, all information will be deleted. Click delete. Delete. Okay. And now I will allocate space for C drive. I will allocate 83,000 megabytes. 83,000 megabytes. Literally, that's 83 gigabytes. But as a final result, we will get only 81 gigabyte. Click apply. Okay. Yep, I was right, we have 81 gigabyte, almost 81 gigabyte. Now I will select this partition and click next. 
Actually, that's all. Now we just need to wait until Windows 11 will be installed on HDD drive and the laptop will reboot several times. That's normal. We need to wait. It can take different time, 10 minutes, 20 minutes or even 30 minutes. It will depend on your HDD drive, on your processor, on your computer. In this case, you need to be patient and take your time. Now we are able to connect to the internet, you can connect without any problem and don't worry, Microsoft will not force you to create a Microsoft account because at the beginning of the video I bypassed these options. That means I can connect to the internet and I will not be forced to create a Microsoft account, I will use automatically a local account. I successfully connected to the internet. As I previously said, at the end of the video, I will check for the latest updates in Windows Update Center. So we finally are in Windows 11 and as you can see, everything works quite smoothly. First of all, I will show you the version of the Windows. I will go to the settings, system, about section. This is my processor, Intel Core i3 processor, third generation, eight gigabytes of RAM. You may have just saw how Windows 11 automatically installed GPU driver. I want to remind you, this laptop has Intel HD Graphics 4000. And look at this, if we scroll down a little bit, we see Windows 11 Pro 23H2 version. Yep, soon this version will be available for every laptop, of course, who supports Windows 11. Next that I'm going to do is to install all necessary drivers for my system. And actually it's very simple. We need to go to the manufacturer website of our laptop and install all drivers for Windows 10. But before that, I will open device manager. As you can see, we have four missing driver, one, two, three, four. In few words, we just need to open browser and go to the manufacturer website of our laptop or computer. If you have a computer, you can enter the model of your motherboard. In my case, I just type Lenovo ThinkPad L430 drivers, press enter, go to the official website of your device. Of course, it will be much better if you know a serial number of your device, you can find it on the case of the laptop. Then I will click on manual update. In the operating system section, I will select Windows 10 64-bit. You may see Windows 11, but this laptop is unsupported and we will not find the correct drivers for our model. So I will select Windows 10 and I will install all of these drivers. My friends, I have a good news. I successfully installed all drivers for Windows 11. Literally the same drivers for Windows 10 works good for Windows 11 in my case. I cannot say 100% that I'm sure that it will work for you because I have experience installing Windows 11 on other unsupported laptops. And you know what? On those laptops, some drivers missing. I'm trying to say if you want to install Windows 11 on unsupported laptop or PC, you need to be ready that some drivers can be not installed. And that's normal. In my case, I'm a lucky man. I installed all drivers and now as I previously said we will test some basic function of this laptop. Let's get into it. First of all I will test the touchpad and as you can see everything works correctly. Also I will try to press these buttons and yep it's work good. Okay button works. It seems funny for someone, but believe me, a lot of laptop doesn't work properly. I mean keyboard, touchpad and other basic functions. Let's test keyboard. As you can see, everything works good and even smoothly. So this laptop has hot keys. That's mean if we press and hold a fan key, we can press a fan and for the example, F8 key or F9, we can change the brightness. Good. Hot keys also work. On this laptop, Lenovo ThinkPad L430, even on Windows 11. I want to mention this laptop is unsupported. To be honest, for me, it's not a surprise because ThinkPad laptops work quite good. Okay, let's move forward. Let's test audio. I will open one of my video. Today I will compare Windows 11 22H2, Windows 11 23H2 version. Yep, this is an insider preview. Audio also work good without any problem or issues. And the thing is, we need to test not only the camera, but the microphone. So I will click here and we will record video. Today, we're talking about Windows 11 23H2 version. 
good and let's check the video today we're talking about windows 11 23 h2 version actually that's good microphone works camera work we have installed all drivers in my opinion that's a good news i told you that at the end of the video i will try to get the latest windows updates so now i need to go to the windows update center check for updates after this process we will see which update i can install on this unsupported laptop 10 years old laptop and also i will enter task manager and check ram cpu and how many windows processes system uses right now and voila as you can see this laptop can get the latest updates with 23 h2 version this specific unsupported laptop use 3 gigabyte of ram let's take a close look on windows processes background processes we have 40 background processes and if we scroll down a little bit we have 90 windows processes yep that's a lot but if you have a modern laptop or computer it will be not complicated for you because newer processor can handle this without any problem and the last thing that i want to check how much space does it takes i will click on this pc select local disk c click on the right mouse button show more options properties whoa it almost used 36 gigabyte of space it's large yep guys it's a new reality newer operating system takes up more space than the previous versions i think this happening because newer version has more features and obviously it will take more space so guys if this video was useful for you please like it and i recommend watching video where we compare windows 11 22 h2 version with 23 h2 version